Jason, thank you. Developing news in Middletown this noon where school kids are getting an unexpected day off, but that's just one of the problems resulting from a water main break that's left part of that city high and dry this midday. News 8's Ken Pierce live in Middletown right now with the uh, latest on repairs. Where do things stand right now, Ken? Good afternoon, Keith. Well, this main that broke is two feet across. We're talking about a very big section of pipe. Crews back there are working on repairing it right now. They're just up that road, uh, or kind of around the bend here. This road looks very different now than it did a few hours ago. It's drying out now. This was basically a river a few hours ago. This is called Silver Mine Road, and the city estimates about 1.2 million gallons of water poured out of that water main before they could finally get it shut off. The mayor was worried the tanks at the water treatment plant were going to run dry. He likened this to a blood vessel. You get a cut on your finger, you can survive that loss of blood. This, he said, was like opening up a major artery. The water was shut off around 6 a.m., but not before all that water carved a major trench down this road. Crews have to dig up the broken pipe now and replace that broken section, then get the water flowing again. In the meantime, some people will have no water or low water pressure, and some will see something in their water. If anyone's getting cloudy water out of their tap um, or water with sediment in it, we recommend that they not use it. And if they really, really want to use it, that they boil it first. And then, of course, we have bottled water. You know, we want to drink water. So. so you're making do, it sounds like. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Now that guy making do, even though he's got no water coming out of his tap, plenty of other people forced to do the same. We found a laundromat that had to close for the day due to the water problems. Middlesex Hospital has an emergency water tanker that's parked out back at the hospital, and the hospital not taking any new patients. It's postponed all surgeries today. Middletown schools are all closed for the day, and in case there is a fire in town, other towns from as far away as Old Mystic and North Stonington sent in tanker trucks here to supply water in case of an emergency. And this could not have happened at a worse time for the city's water supply. They've got two water treatment plants in Middletown, but one is down for maintenance right now. The water main that broke is one of the main lines coming out of the other one, the still functioning water treatment plant. They're going to try to get that pipe fixed, reattached, and back in action by today, but they're going to have to flush the lines over the next couple of days so people in Middletown could still see that cloudiness or sediment or turbidity in the water for a couple of days. We're live in Middletown. I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.